Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This time we are headed off to the beginning of the Desecrated Cistern, where we are going to hopefully proceed through the entire cistern. Now, I gotta double check the map. There's the cistern. Yeah, they're like, yo, come down here. And you know what? I probably should just teleport. But for you, I'm going to teleport. And when you see me, I will be over here at this predia. Okay, so as promised, I'm at the beginning of the desecrated cistern over here. Let's go check this whole thing out. Hopefully, as much as we possibly can. There might be some spots where we need to be able to jump higher. Like, from that. And I'm not sure if... Now that's going to go, but otherwise we should be fine. Oh, man, I was this close. I could have just come a little bit forward for a health increase. Brutal. Brutal. Let's check out left first, I think. Which means it's probably wrong. Oh, we did get a cherub, so we did have to come this way. Okay, so let's look this way. Ow. I'm going to kill that guy for essentially no reason. We see there's a way over. There's also a way up. So let's check out the up path first. And this one comes over. I think all this stuff is going to connect. That's not what I wanted. Not really what I wanted either. There we go. It's been a while since I've played, so it's like I don't remember all the controls. This guy's got to die, though. Uh, can I jump up here? I can. Oh, come on. Oh, I pressed Y. That'd do it. Why? Because I love you. Okay. That opens the path forward to this merchant, which I don't think I purchased everything from, but now we can afford to purchase everything. What I am offering you here is as land may my thousand for a hollow pearl. Absolutely sounds great. Thank you. Uh no, I wanted to look here. Fervor when destroying objects. Cool, not super important to us, but, oh, I have to actually go out first. We can remove her from the map. Great, we've purchased everything there. The other one, I think, has an item for sale for 5,000, which is the last one. And we haven't gone far enough for it to reset things on us, which is lovely. Uh, so oddly, down here, as you can see, uh, we have not been able to go over there, which means I did go the wrong way. And I suspected I had gone the wrong way, so. Usually, if there's two ways to go, I'm going to pick the wrong one. And a quick hop up, as you can see, would have told me that. And we get, what, a bone? A bone. I don't care too much for the bones, but we do get stuff for finishing the bones. I could use a bile upgrade, I tell you, and I think I have a quicksilver, but it's going to take a while before we get back there. And we can go this way or straight up. Let's go this way first. 
You should be wearing a lung. Oh, no. Look, there's the one where we had to build the jump higher. All right, so I need a marker for this. Uh, I think I've hit this marker before with that. That's going to be jump higher. And it's not actually jump higher. It's just that we need the ability to walk on slime, which we're not going to get for a while. Slime and mud and it happens, but it's going to take us some time, you know. Ow, that was way faster than I was expecting. Um, I'm going to check up first, I guess. Just because it's such a pain in the butt to go up. We're going to take one of these, too. See ya. Hey, man. You're, we're going to make our way back a little easier by taking care of him. And in this strong box, we get an empty bile vessel, so always worth it. This guy we will be able to grab with the berry. Oh, he got me from the back. Empty bile vessels going straight to a quicksilver. All right, so should have us here. Yep. Always kill these guys. They keep the explosive guys from spawning. Nobody likes the explosive guys. Right? You're not like, boy, I wish there were more dudes exploding around me. Wasn't that a pleasant sign? We're gonna head up this side first. The other one looks actually looks more of a pain in the butt to go through. And because it heads off to the right, it's actually probably the way. We're supposed to go for more objects. Ow. Strange that they're spawning these ones outside the muck. Right? Other rooms, they always spawn inside that muck. Okay, so over here... We have this guy, which we're going to pull. And that gets us the shortcut all the way over. This way first, I guess. Hmm.
Yep, that was that. Bend of the bone. Ooh, a black grieving veil. That's the last item that we need for the three sisters. So we will be able to go do that. That's like the main reason that I came to do this area right now. Hmm. Thought there was something down there. All right, we're going to head down again. Uh, okay, and I guess we're not able to go forward. Looks like we have to get that ability to jump higher first by walking on the slime. And don't want to go that way. Jump higher, run faster. All right, so we're going to head over there here and go up this time. Yeah, I figured that was going to hit me. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that this place spawns these guys everywhere. It's easy to forget. It seems to be the only room that does this. Okay, so let's head up first. Bone? What do you got? It's a bone. McMitten's the nurse. There we go. That takes us through this shortcut to the church. We're unlocking all the shortcuts here. Do -do, do -do. Not too hard. As long as you're moving. Uh, I seem to have exited the program. It seemed to interpret uh, the right mouse button there as an alt tab, which is strange, but okay. I mean, not right mouse button, the R button on the controller. Ah, oh, we got another one. So this one comes with a cherub, too. All right, so of the markers, we have that. And also, there's a chair up here, so we're going to mark that too. And that might be... No, we got to go down. I was like, that might be it for the Disagreed Cistern, but it looks like it's not. We got one more thing here. Oh, it's up. There you go. Okay, we do have someone to listen to. It must be around here. The bell will not stop ringing. I hear it's jingling even in my dreams. My hands are wounded from all the digging. It must be around here. Just one more wound. I hear it close by. That's this one. But, as you can see, it's another one where we have to be able to jump high. So lots of slime jumping needed. Oh, perfect. Fill your vessel filling. Do we have another one? Nope, but we'll fill them up. Cool. All right, we're going to want to get to Quicksilver Guy. This is all locked off for now. Quicksilver Dude is... I thought he was over here. Oh, he's right here. This is Quicksilver Dude. All right, so that's as much as the Discredited Cistern as we can do for now. We're going to do the Quicksilver Dude. We are also going to come over here and get this, because this is actually going to be important. And I think you will see me uh, warp now over to Quicksilver Guy and then warp down to there. And I will come down this long area for that. And I'll see you there. I wasn't sure if I had enough bones for anything, but thought I'd give it a check. And we're just going to pop right over. I am not going to warp just because we're right here. 
think I have a Quicksilver, man. Uh, 3,000 tears, Quicksilver. Graceful be the heart. With this silver, I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. Healing power of bile, va bile flasks has been improved. And now we need uh, 7,000 tears, so. Cool. Yeah, I can't do that yet. All right, I'll see you down in Grievance Ascents. Okay, so like I said, Grievance Ascends, we took the elevator, that's the fast way, and we are way down here, bottom of the map. We got the third item, which is the veil. Now we've got this hair egg to deal with. The egg is hatched. Penitent one in silence, who summons my three voices? Three sisters became as one, thus birthing the grievous miracle called Altus Gracias. This egg conceals something of ours that still remains immaculate. The egg of deformity. Thank you, Altus Gracias. This one might need a content warning. That was a big boob. All right. So where are we going with this? You might ask. I don't know why that's there. That green. I think that's for poison, isn't it? No, it might be for falling because it might be that there's a fall here. Uh, so we are going to take this guy up here and I'm going to warp up there and we'll see you there. Okay, short trip through the mountains uh, brings us to here in Mountains of the Endless Dusk where we fought Perpetva. You know, in the first version, I do not remember having this building behind this tree. It's really cool. And we put the Egg of Deformity into the burning tree that was hit with the lightning. And then we leave. And then we come back. And look, the egg's gone. All the hair's burned away. Now in its place, we get a hatched Egg of Deformity. Achievement unlocked, warm and soft, and I will see you back at Albero. All right, we're back in Albero. As you can see, we're up here in front of this guy. I'm going to pop into the fountain. See if the fountain guy, the Lord of Salt, wants the hatched egg of deformity. I don't remember. I think he does. I'm going to be real disappointed if he doesn't. In the name of the High Wills, I bless this relic. Watch over it, for it is now pure and sacred. Three gnarled tongues. I don't think there's anything else. No. Cool. So you can see here in our relics, uh, we should now be able to get rid of the Shroud of Dreamt Sins. Put on the three gnarled tongues. And this makes things grow. So every spot where I have said, okay, cool, we're going to be able to get this to grow later. Now we can go ahead and get those things to grow. And take a look at our map here and see what we have on there. Everything I've indicated like a chest icon, right? So over there, we got a thing. I think up here, there's um, over at the, there's definitely at the beginning uh, we don't want that. There's definitely at the beginning of the glacier place up here, I believe, has one. So that's probably the first place that I'll head off to. Down here is a place to go. Over here, over here. Those are those are indicated places to check out. And uh, let's go do that. So we will head off up here first, and I'll see you there. Yeah, there's a dog here. I don't remember seeing this dog. 
Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, who's a good doggy? All right, we'll see you there. <laughs> All right, we are up in the snowy area. Oh, uh, did you see? Up at the top there, it just grew right out. There you go. That's what the three neural tongues does. So this grew, and then also one over here grew down to let us go further this way. And we should remove this because we got it. There we go. And here you have to wait, because this one is a very long time coming. There you go. And we get a Heart of Cerulean Incense. Uh, sword Core. Uh, weakens attacks based on blood and increases for regeneration. Cool. And that covers this. So, let's move on uh, over to here. I believe I have enough to purchase from this merchant now. I decided to stop in at this coffin again. And looking at it now, it looks like the coffin's been plundered by these trees. I don't remember this having happened. Dried flowers bathed in tears. Uh huh. It's a key item. Now they are an offering never made. We go down. I see. The desire of the corrupted. Cool. You've given dried flowers bathed in tears. We've acquired Santa Dolorosa, which is a thing here. We can equip. Um, you get rewarded with health every time you land a hit on an enemy. And it puts us way down here. I don't think I can jump high enough for that. Oh, another one. Okay, they're all gone, so that should make the rest of this easier. Huh. Definitely more over there. Let's check out this way first. Ah, this puts us below this predia over there. How do I get up though, right? I mean, this is definitely going to be that getting up. That first one. It's is what gets us what we need. Maybe here? Uh huh. Ow. How can I get that? Got it. Perfect. Now you know. Uh, 
Got him. Then we jump across, right? Ow. Oh. Oh, cheap, 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 cheap. At least that enemy's gone. We don't have to deal with that. And we got the cherub. Okay, that covers that. I want that bone or whatever it is. And it is a bone. I was like, it can't be a bone, right? It's way too valuable to be a bone. But no, it's a bone. We, okay, we know where we go if we fall. We just go down here. Okay. Uh, I am still wanting to get back up there, and I'll see you there. All right, as mentioned, we're back over here at the merchant. This is a precious treasure to me. And may I don don in black? Okay, Amber of the Holy Cremation tempers the heart, increasing defenses. 5,000 tears. Now she's got nothing here for us. So we're going to remove her from the map, which is really my goal. All right, I'm going to go increase our rosary knots. Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to increase our rosary knots. I will later. I don't remember if it requires um, additional tiers. I don't think it does, but just in case. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you how to access the content from Wounds of Evertide. First thing, we're going to save. So again, very important that you do not cross the bridge to the mother of mothers. This is not what I meant to do. I've just wasted all of our time. But very important that if you want to access the new DLC content, you do not go across that bridge. There's a boss fight on that bridge when the door opens. Actually, it might even be just once you defeat a single boss that uh, there's a boss fight there. But super important that you don't uh, actually head that way. So... I'm going to go down here, uh, all the way here. I'm not going to cut because as we can see there, there is a teleporter. So I'll just teleport over. The five fingered travel discounts. Uh, what do we got here? That's the brotherhood mercy dreams. Uh, Echoes of Salt. Oops, I did not... I pressed the wrong button. Let's double check. Yep, this is exactly where we want to be. We're going to save here in case we die. Always a possibility. And we want to head this way. Do not remember that having a finisher. That's rad. This is easier. Ah! Not what I wanted. <laughs> Dude. I, I want the salt, like the tears. Oh! <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so we have a way over and a way up. We're gonna go up first. Man, the slide is so good. You absolutely want the slide. You absolutely want to upgrade the slide. Alright. Make sure there's nothing over there. I didn't think there was, but we just want to be sure. The resting place of the sister is where we wanted to go next. This is new for Wounds of Eventide. We have acquired the incomplete scapular. Brad. Half of a scapular. With an effigy of the twisted one that hangs at the end, end of a fine crimson cord. These words, almost worn away by the repeated caresses of zealous fingers, are carved into the polished wood. Even at a distance, we are together always. Ezra's. Uh, is that different? The battle is over at last, brother. Do not concern yourself with my wounds. When my eyes close, the miracle will take me with the father here. This is half of my scapular. Remember that if you manage to reunite the two halves, it will be because I wished it so. My brother, dry your tears. Although I must go, my voice will be yours forever. This is kind of like this DLC is meant to connect Blasphemous with Blasphemous 2, which I guess will still probably have the Penitent one, since the Penitent one's goal, as she mentioned, is no longer within the church. It was previously. Now it's not. Out. 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 There we go. That's better. Now we can stop saying ow. Which is important to me. Okay. I'm gonna head off. Come on. This way. Because we hadn't gone this way. Morning and Havoc. This looks like the... Oof. Oof. 
Boy, she hits, eh? Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I have not seen her before. That's rad. I like it. I also don't want to die, honestly. Uh, and while I don't want to die... I don't think I can actually... Get up here. Ow. Ow! <laughs> Alright, I'm going, I'm going, fine. Fine, I'm coming back though. I'll be back. We're gonna go see what... I mean, hopefully we don't have to fight things in here. Good. Uh, we're gonna go see what Ezra has to say. Which is the next point. Previously, you had to fight Esdras on that bridge. And if you don't do this, then you also have to fight Esdras on that bridge. And let me see real quick what the fastest way is. Looks like walking. So I'm just going to warp over there and we'll see what he has to say. Oh, hey, look, Redento's over here. Hey, we already fixed this for you, Redento. They are. We've done it already. Required a little toe made of limestone. Nice. Which I believe uh, increases your dodging distance, which I don't actually like. But now Redento, because all of this is open, we'll be able to come across here. If you haven't done this, he's going to want you to knock down these trees. So you may as well have done it. Okay, so Bridge of Three Calvaries. This is where you would have to fight Ezris. If you don't have the incomplete scapular. If you fight Ezris, you cannot do the new content included in Wounds of Eventide. And may the greatest of pains devour me if I let the penitents through this door. On your guard, penitent one. Ah, that elusive light, it can't be her. Is that true, sister? Is this really the sublime light of your virtue? So, you have received the much esteemed and blessed favor of my sister. With her blessing, she has given you the ability to hear her noble voice, full of grace. Penitent one, meet me in the chapel where guilt was given shape. Where you were anointed the penitent one, and where you knelt for the first time. It will be in this remote place that my sister will hear my plea, and will send her voice to me once again. Required Toronto to my sister. Not like Toronto. And I believe he's going back to the Brotherhood. We don't need to go to the Brotherhood now. We can enter into the door. And Toronto, by the way, uh, wonderful, wonderful ability. Uses a lot of fervor, but it's quite nice. And now we're going to the Mother of Mothers.
I want to check out our relics. We are going to take off the neural tongues, put the shroud back on. Sacred light stains the highest branches of the iron tree. Its brilliance penetrates its walls into the hall where she rests, shrouding my eyes in purple darkness. Okay, if you say so. This looks different, though. I don't remember Mother of Mothers actually looking like this. Hey, nice. Oh, I guess we're in the Ferris tree. Not the Mother of Mothers. I don't remember a tree being here. Which could be entirely just my lack of memories, but... I really don't remember this being a tree. That's strange. The Hall of the Dawning. I don't remember this either. What is this? Ooh, Quicksilver will take it. This could be a new game plus room, actually. Oh, Quicksilver is always nice. Make our stuff, our bio flasks, better. Those you have removed from punishment were Perpetua and Esdras, foundling siblings who went on to be part of His Holiness God. It was said that Perpetua could speak to her brother even after death. Twisted are the paths of the miracle. Sorrowful. I do remember this spot, actually. All right. We're going to stop here. Next time, we are going to take this all the way back over to here and see if our friend is there waiting for us. And if he is, then we can actually go forward from there and have ourselves a good old time also see if we can increase our knots on our rope uh, once we see what Ezris has us up to we might continue on forth this way if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button or hit the like if you want to see more blasphemous feel free to subscribe it does help out the channel quite a bit you can share the video comment on the video i do love talking to people in the comments thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you next time